Let's turn from the banks to biotech. IBB Biotech ETF closing in on a fresh all-time high today. And your next guest says it is time to double down on this sector. Let's go off the charts with Chris Verone, head of technical analysis at Strategus. Hey, Chris, what are you looking at? Hey, Mo, yeah, I brought along a couple charts. And, you know, I think what's so interesting about this biotech group, you know, in the context of talking about the banks being a repressed corner of the market, this is an unrepressed corner of the market. And I think the way it acts and the way it leads is suggestive of that. So let's go through a couple names uh, and a couple charts. Talk about the year to date so far with IBB. You know, down 25% in February and March, followed by a 50% move uh, off the low. I think the question is, is this too far too fast? Is this something that consolidates here? And I don't think so. I think when you put this in context of the bigger picture, this is a chart that is really just getting ready to go. This is the longer term chart uh, of the IBB. And let's just keep in mind, this, this went 40 to 140 in 2012, 2013, 2014. And then you had five years of nothing. 2015, dead money, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, dead money, only just starting to break out of this big base. So from a longer term context, I know it's up a lot this year, but from a longer term show here, this is something that is just beginning to break out. And then I think most importantly, when you talk about it from a relative standpoint, are you getting paid in this group relative to other parts of the tape here? The answer to that is definitively yes. And I think what's really important, if you look at IVB relative S&P, the improvement predates the virus. Before any of us knew about this virus, biotech was getting better. October, November, December starts to outperform. It continues February, March, April. It paused over the last month and now started to get back in gear. So I think from a relative standpoint, this is also showcasing the leadership characteristics that we want to see. So how are two ways you can play this if you want to own some of the individual names? One of our favorites is AbbVie, uh, A-B-B-V. It's been trying to get above this 100 level for the last couple months. We think it will here. This is an improving chart, 50-day now, back above the 200-day, right on the verge of a breakout. Up through 100 gets you to 120. And the other name here, you know, big cap stock, Sarepta, widely owned, another really big base, been sideways for the better part of the last two years, just on the verge here of breaking out. It got above 150. That was a big level. I think ultimately what you're starting here is a really big move. So when you look at this group top to bottom, whether they're big caps or small caps, the whole group is strong. This is a group move and it's outperforming. That's what we want to own in this type of market. Chris, what is the term, the technical analysis term used to describe the long bases that then go to an upside break? Is it broad, oh, here broad, we go. Uh, Rob Dinagian or something like that? It's the <laughs> old uh, East Yamada, the bigger the base, the higher in yeah, space. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. One yeah. of the legends in the there business. There it is. There it uh, is. When that term, I know Tim's a big fan uh, <laughs> of her guy. Well, yeah. tour of mine. Um, <laughs> these are stocks that haven't gone anywhere in five years. Right. Wow. And they're just starting to work. Okay. Chris, always good to see you. Thank you. Chris Verone, Strategus. Uh, Steve Grasso, where do you stand on IBB or biotech in general? Yeah, I would play it with the IBB. I think you, you can't be smart enough to understand whether it's going to be Gilead or Regeneron or Vertex or, or, or any of the uh, Biogen. So I would play it with IBB so that your risk is muted. Your upside is muted as well. But I do think that you need that vaccine, and it is to sell the news because they'll all be forced to share. So not one of them is going to be able to do it. And I think it's gonna be a combination of all of them. So I would play it with IBB, but I wouldn't play it for long. I think that this is more sell the news or sell it when it gets close to a vaccine. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't be long-winded in my long position in IBB.